to my new video. Different background, I'm just currently in my bathroom because my boyfriend is just playing his um, Xbox, playing on his Xbox. So I'll just put my intro in here. Uh, so um, this is the look that I did in today's video. Yeah, make sure to follow me on all my social medias as well. I just have to love Jack Clean as well. Uh, I remember watching it on um, Celebrity. It's just a screen, screen in the video. I have um, already primed my face and moisturised it. I'm now just taking my trusty foundation. Um, I did that off camera just to make the process a lot more quicker. Here I'm just taking my e.l.f. concealer. This is really the best concealer I've ever bought. Um, so I'm just going to take that underneath my eyes, my forehead, chin, nose and any other points that are highlighted. And I'm just making sure to blend that in nice and seamlessly. We are now on to brows. Um, here I'm just brushing up my hairs um, using my Revolution Pro microblading pencil. This is the best. I've, this is my trusty one that I always use. Um, so I'm literally just outlining the brow. I'm pretty much going from the picture. I'm just using um, fine upward strokes with the pencil just to make the front a bit more natural looking. Here I'm just uplining the top of the brow. I'm making it more of an arch just like Jacqueline's. I am just taking it midway center to make that, as I said before, a bit more natural looking like hers. <laughs> Please excuse the dirty packaging, <laughs> but here I'm using my Revolution Pro Duo Brow Powder in the shade Dark Brown. But I'm just taking the lightest shade out of the two as that is the one that's closest to her brow colour. And I'm just going to use that and fill that all in. To finish off the brow, I'm just going to clean it up with my Elf 16 hour camo concealer. As I've said before, <laughs> um, this is the best concealer, but you do have to act quite quick because it does dry quickly. So um, I'm going to quickly just clean up underneath and then I'll go with my beauty blender to make sure that's blended in nice. I just love how this looks. I'm now just going to do the other one off camera and voila. <laughs> so I actually love the brows. Um, next I'm just using my um, powder. This is just a loose collection one that I use. I'm just taking it underneath my eyes and basically just the oily bits that are showing through.
Now moving on to bronzer, the contour. I have already contoured the nose off camera because um, I just my the picture was on my phone and I and I was filming on my phone, so I pretty much just copied the nose structure on that. And now just using the bronzer in the places that are more structured on her face, uh, which is her cheeks, um, her underneath the jawline, and just mainly on the top of the head as well. And So it's blusher time. I'm pretty much just going in my normal uh, Revolution contour palette and just using the blush inside of that. I really do need to invest for some new blushes. <laughs> that is next on my list. But here I'm just taking the blush on the dimples of my cheeks and just anywhere else that mainly catches the sunlight. <laughs> For highlight, I am taking the shade Iconic in um, Roxy's um, Ride or Die palette. Um, I actually love this shade as it's, I don't know why, but I just love using this shade as for like a natural highlight as well. It's the best like shade I've, I've ever used. <laughs> I'm just taking some of my setting spray, just spritzing it on the brush, just to make it a bit more brighter. And I'm just going to put that on the top of my cheekbones, my nose, my cupid's bow, and just um, around my eyebrows as well. We are now moving on to eyes, um, so I'm using the shade Punch Me and Code James in the palette. I have just got the palette out now, that's why I'm just reading the names out so you guys know what ones to use. Yeah, so I'm just taking a mix of those and here I am just using a more of like a dense brush and I'm just going to buff that in into my crease just to create that nice smooth base. Uh, next I'm just going into my Roxy Rider Dye palette and I'm using the shade Cookie which is a brown in the palette. I'm just taking this all over the lid um, with the same brush again and just blending that in into my crease. Going in the James Charles palette again, I'm using the shade 10% off and I'm just using my Real Techniques shading brush and I'm just taking it underneath the eyeline for a nice smoky effect underneath. So here I'm just creating a winged eyeliner but with my Real Techniques um, eyeliner brush I'm using a black eyeshadow from the James Charles palette. Let me just remember what that's called. I'm just going to open it up. <laughs> uh, that shade is Spooky. So I'm basically just um, creating a winged liner as I've already said and then I'm going to buff that out to make it just a bit more smoky looking. I'm now just taking my um, jet black eyeliner in the brand OG which is Outdoor Girl and I'm just taking that on my waterline. <laughs> Uh, 
So here I'm just taking a big fluffy brush. I'm just going over the eyeliner again and just pretty much buffing it out to make it a bit more smoky as I've pretty much said. <laughs> I'm just going to do the other eye off camera. Now that I've finished both the eyes, I'm just going in my Maybelline New York Lash Sensational um, Mascara. Um, I literally use this one every time I do, it's just the best mascara ever. So I'm just taking it on my eyelashes and my bottom lash. <laughs> Lipstick time. So I am taking um, my um, matte lipstick. This is the in nudes. It is from the Primark. Doesn't really have a natural name for it or a shade, which is really odd. But this is just a matte lipstick that I'm just using, which is from Primark. <laughs> and then after that, I on top I used my Revolution Makeup Revolution London matte. Um, lipstick this is in the shade matte chaffure it's very nice nude lipstick again just a bit more brown in toned I'm just gonna apply that on the top of my, on the top of my lips <laughs> Just for I put in a little speed up clip of um, how I did my hair I'm just literally straightening it for the finished look And this is the finished look. Please ignore the mark on my face. I was having my, wearing my glasses. Glasses were problems. Um, so I literally just chucked a ruban that is similar to the picture and roll on the montage. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, give it a massive thumbs up as well, and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload. And without further ado, I'll just end without further ado. I will see you guys in my next video. Love you, my jewels.